Please write hand, please. You swear or affirm that the testimony you're about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Yes, sir. State your name for the record. Wayne Ellison. Legal name is Luther Wayne Ellison. I go by Wayne. E L L I S O N. Mr. Ellison, are you a member of Walls Watershed Coalition? Yes, ma'am. And how will you be? Will, first of all, will you be affected by the pipeline? Yes, ma'am. That's how? my life said. Yes. It's coming across our our two fields, the 80 acres of our property. And your wife spoke about specific uses. Um, what specific uses would be able to do? Right, right. Do. With the existing pipeline that's already there, the 12 inch one, uh, we can't build structure. Or plant trees on of that 50 foot right away through there and from what I can gather it's the same way with the Sable Trail pipeline and originally it was going through about the center of my property and, uh, and I told them no we're going to do this if it has to happen which I don't want to but that's in there or there I want it as close to my fence line as possible. They told me it'd be 15 feet from the fence and then 35 feet past that, which would give them the pitch foot right away. Okay. And what kind of, any kind of geologic features that you personally noticed on your property yourself? Mm, no, no, not that I'm aware of other than, you know, the sinkholes that falls in all around our, in our property and uh, property adjacent to us. <coughs> There's a sinkhole, spring fed sinkhole, a little less than a quarter of a mile due west from where the pipeline is. Okay. Matter of fact, the sinkhole that she was talking about that fell in the field that the yearling got in and died. It's about straight in line if you use the way a crow would fly toward that sinkhole that's a quarter of a mile a little less than a quarter from there. And in the front of the house, there's a whole chain of sinkholes that runs from Falmouth Springs, that's supposed to be in the number one prestige springs, all the way there to, out to the river. They dove it, we got a small map of dove of the depths of the sinkhole. It was a certified outfit from Gainesville, and they've named them all with the depths. And Did they provide in. you with any results of that diet? No, ma'am. Uh -huh. We just got a from the neighbor. He had it, and he, we looked at it several times, you know. Because when I was a child, we'd swim and fish in their sink with me and my brother. Well, thank you very much. That's all mm -hmm. I got. Questions, Your Honor. When did you become a member of Walls? <coughs> Two weeks ago, a week, like my wife said, at the same time. And when she said paid $40, was that for both of you to join? Right. And do you know when your membership expires? No, no, no. <coughs> the reason, the reason that we joined it is where we could have a say so in this, you know, in it. Uh, so you joined specifically so you could testify here today? That and then whatever other help we can get okay. to support them. You, you talked about the existing natural gas pipeline that's through your property. Yes. Was that built after you acquired the property or was it there before? No, it was after. And were you compensated for the easement put to your property? <laughs> yeah, very little, but yes, it was. And you mentioned that uh, you had some conversations with, with Sable Trail, and based on those conversations, they adjusted the location of the pipeline on the property. Well, according to, what was his name, uh, Mr. Lyons, he, he said they would. Have no further questions? No questions. Thank you, sir.